I'm back with Quentin Quayle and the letter Q. Let's sing our Q song. Quentin Quayle, Quentin Quayle. Q says qua, 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 qua. Queen quack and quarter, quick quilt and quiet. Q says qua, 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 qua. Great job. Okay, now I would like to try drawing Quentin Quail. And you guys can try this at home if you have a whiteboard or on some paper. And we're just gonna use a few very simple shapes and see what we can come up with. So first, I'm gonna make a big oval that's going diagonally. Okay, that means it's going corner to corner. So we're gonna draw an oval like this. And that is going to be Quentin Quayle's body. Now we're going to draw a circle. What do you think that's going to be? That's right, Quentin Quayle's head. Now if you'll notice, Quentin Quayle has a big feather on his head. So we're going to draw that. You can draw that like this with a little shape there. And his beak we're going to make what shape is this that has three sides? Do you know what that's called? That's right, it's a triangle. Now, Quentin Quayle can't see anything, so we have to give him an eye. So I'm gonna make a little black circle for his eye. And then we're gonna draw another oval for his wing. So we can just draw another oval right here. Now, Quentin Quayle, as you can see, has a long pointy tail. So I'm gonna use another triangle to make his tail. And now, I already told you that Quentin Quayle spends a lot of time on the ground. So what does he need to walk around on the ground? That's right, he needs some legs, and some feet, and some toes. Look at that. And there you have Quentin Quayle, and you can give him some little decorations if you want. He has some black stripes up here on his head, so you can give him some of those if you like. And if you want, you can even give him a little worm that he's going to have for his breakfast. Draw a little squiggly line like that. And there you have Quentin Quayle. Thanks for watching.